This year has been one of the most challenging for players and the most interesting for fans, capping off nicely with hopefully one of the most interesting ATP finals 50 years from its birth. If you're just as obsessed with statistics as I am, be sure to follow me on Twitter at FootfallPod, and to all my new subscribers, thank you. Topic-style, documentary-like videos will be coming out again soon. Right now, I'm working out a new editing software, so bear with me. In this video, I'll be going through each group and breaking down who I think will get to the semis and eventually the finals. Let's get started. We have two groups, the Tokyo 1970 group and London 2020. In the group Tokyo 1970, we have world number one, Novak Djokovic, number four, Daniel Medvedev, number seven, Sasha Zverev, and number nine, Diego Schwartzman. Coming out on top in this group, I have Medvedev, and second, I have Zverev. Those guys I am most confident in due to recent match play. Schwartzman is probably the only player in the eight here that I think has no chance of winning. I think he's put in the worst group possible for him. That being said, I think he can decrease the chances of everyone else in the group of winning. Djokovic has been quite lacklustre in the big moments at the finals the past few years, and after seeing how easily his motivation left him in Vienna, I struggle to predict what we're going to see from him this time. However, his motivation thrives when there's a record in his sights. Medvedev I see winning all his matches, taken to three by Zverev, two against Schwartzman and three against Djokovic. Zverev I think will beat both Djokovic and Schwartzman in straight sets. The most important match in this group in my eyes is Zverev versus Medvedev. Medvedev plays well with momentum and he's finally got that this season. Meanwhile, Zverev needs confidence to play well, but does also seem to bring the right level against the best guys. I don't know what we're going to see from Djokovic as said, he may well destroy everyone, but who knows. In Group London 2020, we have world number 2 Rafael Nadal, number 3 Dominic Thiem, number 6 Stefanos Tsitsipas, and number 8 Andre Rublev. Coming out on top, I have Rublev, and second, Nadal. Rublev has had a stellar year this year, the man with the most titles, and the fourth player outside the big three and Andy Murray to win five or more titles in one season since 2010. His aggressive, powerful game could cause havoc in this group. Rafa can be rushed, as we saw in Paris, on his forehand side, causing him to drop it short. Team, as we know, has a long wind-up on both wings, and Stefanos needs time to set up that backhand. On top of this, both Tsitsipas and Team have shown to have injuries recently, and Team often needs time to work himself into form. Due to this, I am not confident in putting my faith in either one of them. Rublev, I reckon, will get through Rafa in straight sets. Similar to last year, I think Rafa needs a match to play into better form than Paris last week. He'll also beat Team in two, but I think with some matches played, Sitsapas could be the one to cause trouble for him, taking him to three or possibly beating him. How he played and won at the French really impressed me, and yes, different conditions and surfaces, I know but in the mind, that won't mean anything to him. By this point, I expect Rafa to get by Team and Sitsabas in straight sets. I simply don't think Team's heart will be in it this year. I feel he's achieved what he wanted this year, his first Grand Slam, and now it's time to work on establishing himself as a threat at all tournaments, on all surfaces for next year. That means my semi-finals are Daniel Medvedev versus Rafael Nadal and Andre Rublev versus Alexander Zverev. If Rublev gets to the final, I don't think he has a chance of winning. He is 8-0 against everyone in the semis. Medvedev, I think, now has a better chance of beating Rafa than Zverev would. We saw in Paris the level Zverev had to play to get the win even on an indoor court versus Rafa, and he only just managed to maintain that long enough to grasp a tight second set. Medvedev, I think, is more capable at maintaining that at a higher level. 
If you've been paying attention, you'll have noticed I've come up with a number of potentially useful stats for all players, showing now is a leaderboard of sorts for the stats I've used. Across all four categories, Djokovic is the clear favourite for the title, followed by Rublev and team, and third is Rafa, and close behind him is Zverev. Just another example of how much better Djokovic can be when he's focused and wants it and how high a level the others will have to reach to beat him. However, when it comes down to it, my winner is first time ATP Finals winner Rafa Nadal. By this point, hopefully Rafa will have worked his way into form. Last year, he was a little too late. This year, he's had a few matches in Paris and should be a little more ready with no injuries. All in all, however, the only player I would be genuinely surprised to win is Schwartzman, then team or Sitsapass just because they're a little undercooked this year. I need to see their first matches to judge their level better. Who do you think is going to win? If you like the content, be sure to subscribe and like the video. My next video should hopefully be the story of the Battle of Surfaces and its follow-up. I wonder how many people remember there was supposed to be a chapter 2.